Hey guys, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2014 with me, Brad M73. Uh, thanks for stopping by yet again. Hopefully you're having fun with the series, as I am. Um, let's see, in the last episode, let's see here. If you're on repair order n invoice 16, find and eliminate the problem. <clears throat> My car has a huge mileage and it started to sound terrible while turning. Okay. Probably something really simple, but let's go ahead and test drive it. Not that this is going to tell us anything because A, I don't have a driving wheel, and B, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, sometimes if you have like a, a transmission problem, um, you know, it kind of will tell you something, but uh, usually, no, not, not really. I don't know. We'll see. I don't hear any bad noises yet. I do kind of hear like some kind of a weird sound. But I don't I don't know. Clutch seems to be doing all right. Okay, so. Okay, let's see here. Hopefully it'll be really simple. I do not remain optimistic that it will. Uh, especially not since it's $1,400. Um, starting to sound terrible. Fine, and eliminate the problem. All right. <clears throat> X-ray mode, engage. Oh, it's those things. Derp. All right, so we'll take the wheels off. Undo these. Do the other side down. Concentrate. And, okay, so those two need to be replaced. What are those? The front drive shaft thingies? Uh, the axle drive shafts. Okay. There's the left one, the right one. It's weird that one's cheaper than the other, but never understood that. Okay, oh, gotta go back into assemble mode. Pretty sure this is gonna be, whoa, one of his tires was kind of, uh, come on, get in there, there we go. <clears throat> it's like one of the tires is green and the other one was yellow. Kind of like, kind of like my armpits. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. That's <laughs> grouse. See, this tire's yellow. Something is causing uneven wear. Maybe his alignment's not proper. But see, like, I don't think this, I don't think this simulation does alignment. So we fix it. We fixed it. Awesome. All right, next order. That was quick. <laughs> Somebody's like yelling outside my house. Check the exhaust. I hit something hard on a bumpy road and I assume that it broke one of the exhaust pipes. 200 bucks, okay. This one will be easy, I'm sure of it. Sorry, I'm doing my, like, six million dollar man, you know, analyzing sound. Come on. Okay, 90, that's good. 
That's good. That's good. That one's not good. That's good, and that's good. All right, so we just need to replace one item. Uh, oh. Kind of don't like how, <clears throat> I don't know. Sometimes the, the only thing I don't like about this game really is just the way the camera views are sometimes. It's not a huge problem, but um, I can see some people who don't understand the game mechanics uh, get really frustrated on uh, moving the camera around. So Anyway. Alright, next part. Metal muffler. This is the exhaust pipe middle, okay. Get out of there. <clears throat> All right, so we just need to go buy an exhaust pipe middle for under 200 bucks. Since we can't repair them, exhaust pipe front, exhaust pipe middle, 100 bucks, there we go. Kind of an expensive middle exhaust pipe. <laughs> um, see, like here, you have to be like all the way down here, and then you have to focus in to, you know, put the right part in. So it's kind of awkward, you know. And I'm talking about the view, of course. Um. Oh, another thing while I'm thinking about it, I would love to say thank you to all my fans and everybody that's, uh, you know, shared my videos um, and given me thumbs up on my videos. Um, I Just the other day, just yesterday, um, I surpassed uh, 2,500 subscribers. So that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Um, you know, it, it definitely helps me out uh, when you subscribe and share and, you know, give the videos thumbs up. So, um you know, more people can come and uh, have fun as well, hopefully. <laughs> or just think of me as a gigantic derp. Uh, whatever you're fancy, that's that's awesome. Uh, so my voice feels a little bit off today. I don't really know what it is. Let's see, they don't want their repair. Okay. Repaired, yes! Uh, yeah, my voice seems a little bit off today. I don't know really why. Maybe it's because I didn't have any coffee this morning. I don't know. The faster I drive, the, loud, the louder this horrible noise gets. I also noticed that the dashboard lights are getting dimmer. Okay, well, let's take it for a test drive. Sounds like the alternator, probably the alternator and the battery. Acceleration's not the greatest. But, ah! My driving is not the greatest either. back through that one. <laughs> so I don't really hear any noises. You know, like, I don't hear anything that, you know, sounds out of the ordinary. I don't know. It's bizarre. Okay, so <clears throat> let's turn on our x-ray vision and see if we 
see anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. That's not what I was expecting. Um, how much are they paying? It's 550. The faster I drive. Oh, see, like all the belt and everything, they don't actually show up. That's right. So let me go into examination mode. Okay. And I don't think, yeah, I have to take the belt off, darn it. Oh, what was that? Um, let me look at the battery really quick and see what. Let's see, condition. Well, the battery's in decent shape. All right, so let's look at the. Oh yeah, alternator's definitely shot. Okay, five hundred and fifty bucks. Fix it for two hundred and sixteen dollars. That's good. And um, we'll just uh, jump back in here and reassemble it. Yeah, whenever you have like weird electrical problems, especially if your lights in the interior are dimming or your headlights are dimming, that's usually the alternator. Or, you know, no, no it's usually not the battery. <laughs> All right, so it says... Eliminated the problem. They don't want any of their parts back. Not that there were any. Next order. Ooh. Well, there's like a lot of banging around going on outside my ha house. <laughs> okay, final solution. I can barely afford a car, but I've managed to buy one myself. It doesn't start, though. Help me, please. I only have $300 left, and I need it working before I can show it to my parents. Okay. Probably going to be your starter. Whoops. What the heck? Okay, everything is in unknown condition. Ugh. Okay, well, let's go take a look at the starter. No. Uh, I guess I actually have to remove it. That's always nice. Not not really. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, need to show the inventory. Okay, the starter <clears throat> definitely needs to be fixed. So I think he's giving me 300 bucks. Okay, so there's that. Whoops. Um, I want to go with like spark plug wires. Come on, get out of there. Yeah, disassemble. Okay, there we go. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, just disassemble them. Spark plug. Oh, ignition wires, five percent. All right. Now let's look. Oh, let's look at the this thing. I have to take that off too. Seriously? <clears throat> okay, the ignition module's still all right. Okay, next. I'm gonna check out these spark plugs. Oh yeah, I think I think probably the spark plugs need to come out. 
Um, yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of these out. No. Okay, there we go. The spark plugs are difficult to target. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful. My frame rate's really low because I'm actually running another game. I just realized before I started, I'm actually running another game in another window uh, in the background. So, oops. Um, all right. So we've spent... So what I need spark plug wires and spark plugs, right? Oh man, 150, yeah, I guess, where's the spark plugs, whoa, 30 bucks, man, we're not, we're like barely going to break even on this, okay, okay, let's go back into reassemble mode, 100%. If only, if only real spark plugs went in this easy. <laughs> on my Jeep, uh, my Jeep's got an inline six on it, a six cylinder engine. And, but, but basically it goes like front to back. And so, you know, imagine turning this engine so that the, you know, the, the back spark plug it's like a nightmare to get out and there's a bunch of pipes and everything on there too so yeah it's not not so much fun <laughs> all right two more bolts and i think we is done <gasps> dune all right doesn't want the parts back wait Car is incomplete. What the heck? What parts do I have? Okay, that. Oh, crap. I have still the plastic engine cover. Oops. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oops. Alright, sell the rest of these parts while we're here. Three dollars, zero dollars, and one dollar. Alright. Are we completed? Yes. Nineteen and twenty will be the last job for this episode. Wasn't sure if I uh, mentioned it before. I just wanted to let you guys know. I'm basically going to be doing five jobs per episode. Replace rubber bushings. My rubber bushings are gone. Replace all of them, please. Okay, so... I think they're referring to the bushings... I think they're like suspension bushings. These things right here. Yeah, that's what the that's what they are. Okay. Um, take that one out. Take that one out. And I think there's some in the back. Um, oh, yeah, right up here. Yeah, some cars have the rubber bushings like that. Other ones don't. Um. Some of them actually have metal bushings. Uh, they last longer and they don't corrode, uh, but they're a little bit louder, I guess. All right, bushings, no airflow tube. Come on, bushing, where are you? Oh, there you are. Man, those things are 110 bucks a piece. Four of them, so that's four hundred and forty dollars for the bushings. 
All right, put these things back in. Come on, there we go. And can I target the other one? Yes. All right. I'm somewhat convinced that this would be a much huger pain in the butt if you had to do it uh, in the real world. All right, that should be it. And we'll sell these old ones. Five bucks, 10 bucks, 16 bucks. Oh, we made some of our money back. Um, and so that was uh, repair order 20 um that's gonna be it you know for this episode um it was kind of a short one i don't know i guess it was like on par with the other episodes but um again don't forget to like subscribe share definitely share them and uh leave your comments give me comments let me know what you're thinking um uh let me know what your experiences are with the game, and um, hopefully you're having fun following along. So guys, I am Brad M 73 This is Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. We'll see you next time. Bye for now, guys.